There once was a beautiful princess who lived in a cottage in the enchanted forest. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. This ain't no actual fairy tale because the toddlers are here. Stinky, loud, sad, causing absolute mayhem wherever they go. We've also got babies everywhere too. Welcome back to our Snow White challenge with poor little Snow and her seven loud maniac dwarfs. In the last episode, we had our final two babies, which brings us to the grand total of seven, which is exactly what we need for this challenge. Yeah, things are pretty, pretty hectic down here, in case you guys hadn't realized. But it's fine. I, I've got a strategy. I've got a plan. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I also cannot listen to babies cry. It drives me mental. I can't help it. It just does. It drives me mad. Uh, what my plan is, is that even though Doc is having herself a little crying meltdown now, and she's also cropping in to this shelf, she is in general our, like, smartest toddler. Kind of. She seems to have things the most down. Oh, Snow is asleep. As part of this challenge, I need to both get one character value maxed for all of the children, and also one skill maxed for all the children. But what you can also do is max all of a toddler's skills. So, because Doc's already got this thing down, I am gonna try and get Doc maxed maxed on her toddler skills or she becomes a child she has two days left so we don't have long but what i'm thinking is if i do that with her then i don't have to focus on her as much and she can help me out with everybody else as you guys probably guessed we're kind of starting to go down the route that doc will become cinderella i know some of you guys are saying the youngest child has to be cinderella but i kind of feel like if doc is the oldest and she's had to do a lot of looking after of her siblings she actually to me makes the most sense as a cinderella kind of child because that's kind of how cinderella grew up everybody else is just this is destroying your character values. Stop this. Stop this right now. Stop wrecking. Dopey's asleep in the right bed. Well done, pet Dopey. I'm putting a lot of faith into Doc. And as a result, we have to put a lot of work into her now. That noise. Jeez, that noise. We have to put a lot of work into her now. But it's going to pay off in the long run. That is my hope, at least, anyway. She is going to end up helping us. Fingers crossed. Because I need it her. So, as you've noticed, all the toddlers are stinky. Because the amount of time it takes to bath a toddler is so long that one of the babies will start crying. Somebody needs food. Snow, at some point, needs sleep. She is, like, basically the floor has become her new bed. So, she ain't particularly happy with life. Yeah, things things are just tough, guys. Things are real tough. It's 3 a.m. in the morning and we have two babies asleep. Two of five babies. Uh, two of seven babies asleep. Five babies causing havoc and mayhem. This this poor unassuming child right now, little Doc, will hopefully become our Cinderella. Okay, so Doc is on one out of three, two, three, one, two. She's getting close. If I really want to be able to max everything out with her. She's actually on imagination school level three now. Well done. Oh, wait, does it go to five or does it go to three? Okay, we got a long time ahead of us. I'd send her to play with the dollhouse, but it's wrecked. And what is this? What are you off to go do? Grumpy has a special place that he goes to trash. I had no idea about making him lose responsibility. Grumpy, seriously? Seriously? I wonder who all the toddler's favorites are as well. Kind of likes everyone equally, does old Grimperoo. He likes Snow probably best. He kind of likes Sneezer. I don't understand how, because she's just in a crib, but okay. Happy seems quite popular as well. Happy does seem like a popular little kid. And one of the babies is up again. Unfortunately, I can't tell the baby to do shapes and stacks and imagination skills. Otherwise, <gasps> no way. Evil Queen has died? Oh. <gasps> I was literally- I can't sound lies. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to zoom out. I was literally just thinking how we've heard nothing from Evil Queen since we moved in. She hasn't tried to come and get us like she did in the original. She's just kind of left us alone, which is nice. I also can't see how she died, but I feel like it must have been old age, right? But hey, Queen is dead. Yeah, it's a great Smith song, and it's also a reference to our so series now. The Queen is dead. That is good. We don't need to worry about an old woman coming in, knocking at the door, and ruining the challenge. So that's nice. And why is there just loads of plates and stuff out here? My children are gross. They also wee in this bush outside too. Lovely. This is little happy. I know everyone's stinky, so just try and ignore that. He's a little popular one with the kids. I guess that even though his life is trash, he still has a little happy disposition. And the rest of the toddlers kind of like that about him. Oh, he just fell through the chair. Be careful. And oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Snow. I'm gonna have to wake you because I can't bear that noise. I just can't bear it. Dopey is very hungry. Oh my gosh. Dopey, there is food down here. Come and grab a servant. I don't actually know if you can get downstairs. Oh. Oh, wait, there's some food here. Go get that. Go get that. Eat it. Bashfuller is very hungry. Oh my gosh, they're all waking up. 
<laughs> oh, they're all waking up and being wrecked now. Uh, I just got everyone to sleep because I'm like, this is so much easier if they're sleeping. But I think when one of them cries, it wakes all of them up. Except Grumpy because he's just kind of done with them all. But I'm getting Snow to repair the dollhouse because her fun is low as well. And I'm kind of like, maybe if she plays with them, it will help out with her fun too. You guys were like, I should get a bed. The thing is, I got this bed because it's so pretty and it looks really fantasy. But you guys are right. It doesn't actually provide that much energy. It has only energy five. So I'm going to sell the bed and buy a bed that's as high energy relief as possible. Like this one's a nine. Get her this one. She should start like recovering her sleep a little bit quicker, which will hopefully make our life a little bit easier. Oh, and as soon as I say that, one of the babies wakes up. But just when she started to get a bit of sleep, I'm just going to give her until she gets to like a quarter. At least give her a quarter. But yeah, this is a real tough gang. Tough, tough, tough. It's Sleepy's birthday. Okay, at least they're going to age up soon. That will definitely make things a lot easier because toddlers can kind of, for the most part, sort of manage themselves. Well, they can't. They still are like filthy, disgusting messes. But it's definitely a lot easier uh, than babies because babies are stuck in one place and they are totally dependent on you and they make that annoying crying noise which I can't bear as well so the sooner that's out the way the better really while I've got a bit of time here I'm just gonna bath one of them just at least make one of them a little bit cleaner dopey's on the floor here so maybe we can do dopey dopey don't be stupid put your blocks down you want this bath okay this is a rare opportunity to get clean it does not happen often oh and obviously one of the toddlers is uh, one of the babies is about to ruin it which baby are you are you sneezy sleepy Sleepy, please go back to sleep. Look, Dopey's getting a... Wow, that was a really short bath. Okay, that does not feel like it's got Dopey cleaner at all. Oh my gosh, look at the sink. <gasps> How did he even get that dirty? Were you cleaning pens in it? Is that ink? Did you put a squid in it? I don't even understand. Okay, this is good. We're getting Dopey clean. However, this doesn't actually improve Snow's fun at all. I thought it would make Snow happier, but it hasn't. However, Dopey's now clean. Who else needs a bath? Let's do you next, Happy. Let's bath the Happy. Just get as many out of the way as we possibly can. The thing is, because I've not potty trained them, they're just gonna get filthy immediately, aren't they? Like, literally straight away, they're gonna be filthy again. And Jay wants to come over and hang out. Yes! My prince, come over! Run across the little enchanted bridge my friends and help me out with these babies please okay and the you wear a lot of rings look at this trash can you like clean up for me or something please just help me out help me out bro i'm gonna just send his children out to try and get help from him instead oh look at doc doc smart making him do the diaper for her thank you doc that is a big help maybe he can also bath us how about that can you give us a bath please dad and he must be like jeez the woman i chose to procreate with is a complete wreck however he's not exactly helping me is he he ain't exactly helping so you can't complain and oh my gosh we've got justin inviting us tonight night night at the bar he's a knight he's my knight in shining armor but we did not choose him we made we chose jay hansenson instead and that has just worked out great trying to potty train dopey i feel like this might be a complete lost cause on um, the baby so you guys not aged up yet you said you said you were gonna age up but yeah here you are being all loud and stuff and jay's just he is sat here looking after them look he looks what is i don't know what's going on with his eyes and he's got a pimple at the end of his nose he's just like overseeing the toddlers like oh my god this is so easy i don't know what snow is complaining about all they do is just sleep all day like seriously she needs to sort her life out is he off now as well is he like i'm gonna i should really get going now jay you are no help you are no help at all absolute big fat zero help i've kind of gone back to like my seven toddler challenge where if they if they've just got a dirty nappy they're gonna be getting diaper rash because i'm not gonna help them they can deal with the dirty nappy like it's not the end of the world the one's dying so they're fine and look other than the baby crying downstairs and don't Everyone else is sleeping, which I think is pretty impressive. I need, I kind of want Doc to wake up so I can give her a bit of potty training so we can try and finish off getting her skills. Oh man, a lot, there's a lot of ones there. Oh, and people are waking up. Uh, why are you, what's wrong with you? You're tired. Go to sleep then. Get back into bed. Weirdo. Oh, and two crying babies. So oh, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up ignore them. Let's potty train Doc, okay? We need to get her skills up. And then we'll bath her afterwards. So that she's actually in a good mood. And then we're gonna nail these skills. Look, she actually wants to play with dolls. Which is great. We can totally do that. Look, her, she's actually happy because she's getting attention as well. Poor baby. She was literally getting none before this. Potty level two. That's awesome. She can use it on her own. Which is exactly what we wanted. Oh my gosh. Please just age up. Let, let, literally look at my notifications. They're gonna get taken away. They're gonna get taken away. They're gonna get taken away. I know they are, but like, I've got a lot going on. Oh, 
Okay, the babies are aging up. La, 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 la. They just got yeeted onto the floor. Wow, that is some haircut there, Sneezer. They just got yeeted onto the floor whilst also being in the air. Look at this tuck and roll. It's like the Olympics. Look at them go. It's like some sort of beautiful coordination. And what is this hair? I'm so confused by this hair. What even? Oh, it's like a bun thing. Okay, interesting. So we'll have to go ahead and edit those guys. But I also got a notification saying it's almost Doc's birthday. So we're really running out of room there. Sleepy is probably going to be... Well, she's sleepy. I'm going to make her a charmer, okay? Just to make things a little bit easier for myself. Sneezy, I am going to make wild because, I don't know, sneezing. It's just kind of wild, isn't it? These are the last toddlers that I will be uh, editing because after that, they'll be children. Yay! Actually, children, miles easier. Okay, so Sleepy. Sleepy is the little bro. Let's see what Sleepy looks like. Oh, bless him. He does look very, very... Oh, it's just focusing on me. There we go. He looks super sleepy. He's got a big old red nose. Oh, he kind of looks soft. I'm glad I made him a charmer because he does look like a little charmer. And he's got long... The dwarf has a long beard, which for me means I give them long hair. Like, look at Sleepy. He's so adorable. And I've matched like... Look, it's kind of like a green heart and then like a quite a beigey with a bit of orange. So I've kind of gone... Beigey's, that's kind of beigey. Beigey and orangey for all of his little outfits. So hopefully you guys like Sleepy. And then we've also got Sneeze with interesting hair. Let's have a look how Sneezy's meant to look. Oh, you know what? Kind of similar, but with a yellow heart, which I'm going to change to blonde hair. And the thing is this, Sneezer is the youngest. And you know what? She would also make a really good Cinderella candidate. She's got a real Cinderella look about her as well. So now, I don't know. Maybe we should try and maximize both of their toddler skills. But then, I don't know. Like the other one, the older one would tend to look after the siblings, which kind of fits Cinderella's story a little bit more. But we might have to, oh wow, well, she's really cute. We may have to see which one of them ends up looking the most similar to Cinderella. If one of them just matches a little bit more, then maybe we have to go for that one. I'll make her eyes blue just in case, because I feel like Cinderella's eyes are blue. Well, obviously this child has to look so much like Cinderella that I feel like I've just kind of ruined things for Doc. Look, I even gave her like a little Cinderella dress. But yeah, she's definitely looking very Cinders, isn't she? It may have to be her. I mean, this is the youngest sneezer, and then this is Doc. No, you're not Doc. Where's Doc? This is Doc. Oh, man. It's kind of to me feeling like maybe this child is more Cinderella. But why don't we wait until they're all children? Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below whether it should be Doc or Sneezer. It's nice for Sneezer as well because then she can be changed to, her name can be changed to Cinderella instead of Sneezer, which I'm sure she'll appreciate. Oh my gosh, Mikola wants to come and hang out. More help for the kids. I don't mind who comes around as long as I get help, okay? And I have to try and sort out this trash house. Like, it is bad. It is not a nice place to be right now and obviously my sink is now broken yay i hope i can see you soon says jay huntington no it's how he doesn't actually come around he just says i hope i can see you soon without actually making any effort to come around so that's awesome and i can't stand all the laundry on the floor no i can't go and hang out justin i can't stand all the laundry on the floor so i'm getting her to do the laundry just because i can't stick it anymore it's too gross makova's like yeah this is trash your life is trash and i don't want to be here anymore and i don't even blame the guy and look at this doc has woken up feeling insecure she She's suddenly like, wait a minute, I'm I'm not gonna be Cinderella? I thought we agreed this at the beginning of the episode. And now you're just taking it all away from me. We've actually got a little bit of time before I collapse from exhaustion. Oh my gosh, her poor skin. The poor baby. I am getting her to try and teach Doc to talk. Because, like, we don't have much time left. We literally don't have much time left. Grumpy is hungry. Oh my gosh, there's not even any food on the floor anymore. You, uh, is there any food? No, we've got no food anywhere. Oh, just when I get two minutes, two minutes to be able to teach her how to talk. I need to go and start cooking, don't I? Oh, well, guys. We I tried. I tried. I just realized I can get rid of these. So that's good. I can move the dollhouse inside. But they don't have to play dollhouse in the rain anymore. And is the dollhouse smashed? Oh my gosh. Apparently we can't go two minutes without smashing the dollhouse. Look how sweet Snow is. Despite the fact that her life is trash, she wants to volunteer with the family and do something romantic. She's such a freaking Disney princess, guys. I literally can't. Oh, and oh my gosh. Hard times. Snow is depressed. Snow has reached the point of depression. She's like, yeah, this, this is too much. I can't believe it took her this long. I, I would have been at like this day one. So she has done a good job to get to this point before literally she's like, this is not a fun life. No one wants to live this life. It is real sad. And she's totally right. It is sad. Well, look at this. My two contenders for Cinderella are playing dolls together. I still don't know which one would make a better Cinderella. They're but look at them. But like, I can hug the doll better. I'm more Disney princess. And Doc's like, well, wait a minute. I'm the one that I was going to have to look after you. Well, I'm more Disney princess. I mean, 
mean, they look very similar. That one's Ian, the Disney princess, so maybe not. <laughs> and it's Spash for Letter and Doc's birthday. Okay. I did not get all of Doc's skills up. Ah, I really wanted to do that because I think it would have helped me out absolutely loads in the next section. But, oh my gosh. It's singles night at the bar. Let's go out and meet someone new. Oh, you are the worst Disney prince, worst Disney prince ever. How can you just text that to me? That is so mean. That is not what my girl needed to hear, okay? She's already sad about life. And we have gone into the season of fall. I think we started in spring. We're getting, it's, it's been nearly a whole year in the cottage. We actually have fruit to harvest. I don't really need to sell anything just yet. I haven't had my child support payments in a while. And oh my God. This is, this is like the seven toddler challenge, but harder. Why does it start you off with such a hard one? I don't know. <gasps> and oh my gosh, they've just aged up. They have just aged up. Okay, bash for letter. Thing is, I need to give them all a bad trait. Ah, this is gonna be hard. Okay, bashful. She's probably gonna be, is it like a shy trait? Introvert. These don't really need to socialize. That's not really a bad trait though, is it? Gloomy. That's why she's so shy. She's been given two of creativity, so maybe that's what I should focus on as a child. So let's give her an artistic prodigy one. Doc, I'm gonna make a loner. I want her to build skills fast, so I'm gonna make her a whiz kid as well. Okay, the first two have aged up now. Let's see what they are gonna, let's see how they look. Okay, so bash for letter. I'm gonna give her, wow, you've got makeup on. I don't think so. I'm gonna give her the same hair she had as a child. And can you see Jay Huntington's jaw? She's got like his jaw and like hollow cheeks. Oh my gosh, I could literally make them into proper little dwarves now if I wanted to. Okay, so we've got little Bash Faletta, who's like yellow and greeny kind of vibes. She's kind of cute. She is adorable, actually. And then let's take a look at Doc. Okay, Doc has a lot more of snow in her. And then because Doc obviously wears glasses as an elf, if you guys remember, I have gone ahead and given our little Doc some glasses as well. And she's kept like her little red uh, and yellow theme. Mainly red and yeah, I think <laughs> that outfit's just for my amusement. I think she's pretty cute. I don't know if she's Cinderella yet though. We'll have to wait until Sneezetta ages up and then see which one of them looks the most like her, but she's definitely a little cutie pie. Okay, hopefully having two children around will help because if I make them do stuff like chores, that's actually gonna help their character values, which obviously I need to try and do one of, I think. Yeah, I need to give each one of them one character, positive character trait. Oh my gosh, and I've also realized I read it long. Read it wrong? This can be reaching level five in a toddler skill, so I should have just focused them on one skill. Or three in all toddler skills, completing their childhood aspiration or becoming a grade A student. Well, I feel like Duck, Duck could be smart. She could try and go for the grade A student vibes. So I'm gonna get her to do her homework. Also, I'm gonna replace one of the kids' beds with an adult bed. The other one can sleep with me. I don't feel like all of us are gonna be using the beds at the same time because that's just not the way life has gone to so far, so. And they can shower themselves and stuff as well now, which is so much better. Bash Follette, what are your skills like? You're pretty creative, so I am gonna ask you to max your... No, creative doesn't matter, but you'd have to max your childhood aspiration. An activity table and do two pictures while inspired. Okay, let's buy you an activity table. Oh, childhood aspiration is gonna be so hard. This is like the seven toddler challenge, isn't it? I know how hard this is because I've tried to do it before. Okay, you've got a little activity table. You can do your little activities under the tree. It's gonna be real cute, obviously. Look, I think if I get them to clean up, that does something for their character values. I feel like it does. It improves like their manners or something. So I'll just get them to keep doing this. Plus it helps me out. So why would I not? Oh my gosh, yes, this is great. Look, I can get the dwarves to do all of my work for me. Just tidying up. Like basically doing all the chores. This is amazing. And oh my gosh, our, our house just earned 28,000 simoleons. Thousand simoleons from child support, 28,000. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Is there anything else we could upgrade? I mean, I want it to look, I want it to stay look, oh wow, children just dying everywhere. I want it to stay looking kind of rustic and charming, so. But let's go and get Doc to study hard. I need you to get an A, I need you to get an A. In fact, if ever all of them get an A, this would probably be the easiest way to do this wouldn't it? So just everyone study hard. Oh my gosh, Happy's on imagination level four. <gasps> Please keep working on that imagination. If you get this up in time, then I don't have to worry about you as a child, really. Which is obviously gonna be really amazing. And we've got bills, three grand, easy. Easy to pay that when we've got 28K. We've actually got 37K, we're doing well. Happy's sleeping, but honestly, Happy, I kinda need you to be imagining in, so please do that instead. <gasps> No freaking way. Dopey? Do 
Dopey is the one who got to level five. Oh my gosh, I need to write this down. She's done her one her thing. Little Dopey's sneaking in there and stealing it right at the end. I swear it's the day she ages up as well. Okay, so I'll do it in my peachy notebook. We've got, of all of the children, Dopey is the only one to have achieved anything. Dopey has maxed out movement as a toddler. Well done, Dopey, coming in there out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. If I can get your imagination up to five happy as well i know you're absolutely the opposite of happy right now you're very sad you're exhausted you're filthy and you're like really missing attention but if i can get this up to level five then it will make my life so much easier so no forget going to bed get back downstairs get this to level five okay but he keeps trying to escape but i'm keep being like no get back downstairs get back downstairs and play with these dolls right now child just play dolls until you can't play dolls anymore until your hands are raw with the dolls. Oh my gosh, he just ran out of the house. He's running away from me outside. Look how close it is. Look how close it is. Oh, I can almost taste it. Oh, yes, Harpy has mastered the imagination skill. That is two. Two of the children have done it now. Happy imagination toddler. Boom. Done. Okay, you can eat and sleep now. <laughs> I'll let you do that. And Grumpy's on level four of the movement now. So I'm like... Let's just push them. Now I realize I can just max them at one skill as a toddler. I'm like, how have I not been doing this the whole time? I've been sleeping on this. Literally just sleeping on this. And look at this. Bashfaletta is sad because she wants a new brother or sister. I don't think so, Bashfaletta. It ain't happening. Oh my gosh, you're so close. You need to eat. Fine, eat and then go back to it. Go on. You can eat the leftovers from other people's food. No! <laughs> no, I was so close. Okay. Dopey we did. Dopey is aged up. Uh, I feel like Dopey needs like the stupid- is there like a stupid? Slow learner. Okay, I'm gonna give Dopey the slow learner. Happy's hard because like what negative trait do I give Happy? Okay, I'm gonna make Happy lazy. Happy, but they're lazy. And then- no, if you can just not age up- no, you were so close! Ah! Grumpy has aged up. Oh, Grumpy, you've made me grumpy. Grumpy, I'm gonna make a hothead. You can be uh, active. There we go. Oh, three of them. Three more have aged up. Grumpy, I was this close. This close to maximizing his skill. But I did not manage to do it on time. And oh my gosh, Grumpy is always all already very angry. I'm gonna save their makeovers until the next episode. In this episode, we got Dopey's movement skill max. And we got Harpy's imagination skill max. The, that is as far as we've got so far. I need. I, I've got three, no, two more toddlers I could try and max a trait for. I don't have much time with them though. With the kids, it's either finish their lifetime aspiration or get their uh, grade A in school. And they all still need a character value uh, as well, which is one of these here. That is going to be really, really hard. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. But fingers crossed that I do. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. This challenge is seriously hard. If you're playing along with me, let me know how you're doing in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.